We've got things to do. And it probably won't let me go to the highway right now either, huh? I'd have to guess. those students from that military academy, was it? What are you doing here? We're terribly sorry to trouble you, but we were hoping you might be able to help us with something. Did we ask you a few questions about the incident that occurred in the, at the Grand Market this morning? What? What does that have to do with you? Um... We're visiting this town on a field study as students of Thor's military academy, and we would very much appreciate the chance to see how experienced soldiers, such as yourselves, handle difficult everyday situations. This seems a perfect opportunity for an anecdotal case study, and can prove most invaluable to our education, if you permit it. Hmm. Alright, stay here. I'll see what I can do. Looks like we might be able to hear what they have to say for themselves after all. Nicely done, Laura. <laughs> In times like these, we need to make good use of our positions. No one can fault the student for wanting to learn, after all. But now comes the hard part. Ah, this makes me nervous. Well, let's just wait and see what we can get out of them. Remember, is that always what they say that matters, but how they say it? And even more importantly, what they don't say. Right. Ah, I hope you appreciate us taking time out of our busy schedules for this. So what do you want? And make it quick. I'm a busy man, you know. To keep up appearances, unbelievable. I'll be brief then. We came to discuss the incident at the market this morning. Would we be correct in assuming that the provincial army will be conducting no further investigation? <laughs> Is that all you came here to ask? Is that all? Should the armed forces charged with maintaining peace of this region not be taking this matter more seriously? <laughs> or I'm not sure. <laughs> you got a big mouth for someone your age. And it seems you have a lot to learn about how military units actually work. What do you mean? Let me ask you this. What should the number one priority of the provincial army be in order to maintain the status quo? I'll tell you. Their number one priority should be to enforce the will of their region's ruling lord, Duke Alvarea. As members of the, of the provincial army, the will of the nobility is absolute. We're just following our orders, protecting what we have a duty to protect. I assume you're referring to the local petition against the sales tax increase? So you're saying as long as the petition isn't withdrawn, the grand market isn't something you have a duty to protect? Interpret my words however you want. We're soldiers. We follow our orders. That's how the military works. And we don't need some fresh military academy inductees telling us how to do our jobs. This is nuts. Does he even have a tiny shred of shame? I was hoping we'd be able to get something out of him, but it sure doesn't seem that too likely anymore. So, is that it then? I hope this has been enlightening. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a job to do. Wait, would you mind answering just one more question? Elliot? Hmm, <laughs> fine, ask it. <laughs> well, um, do you have any idea what might have happened to the goods Marco was handling? You know, the accessory merchant? All he had left was that one sample. Oh, Elliot. Hmm, <laughs> what are you talking about? That merchant from the capital, Hines, was the one who was planning on selling accessories. What? What did you just say? What are you all looking at me like that for? How do you know that? I was under the impression you hadn't investigated the matter at all. Hmm, how peculiar. We only discovered what each of the merchants was intending to sell a short while ago ourselves. Sir? We have our own ways of finding these things out. You'd do well not to underestimate us. Now, we've wasted enough time answering your questions. We're leaving. Do you think the fact that they know what each of the merchants was selling means they did investigate the matter after all? But the burglary happened last night, and it was only first discovered this morning. 
realistically, I don't think there was any opportunity during that time for them to do any digging, not without running into us. Agreed, I suspect they knew what East Merchant was planning to sell well in advance of yesterday's incident. Though that would be easy information for them to learn, since Duke Alvarea must have issued permits for both stalls. That's true, and the army would have no trouble gaining access to transaction records or something like that. But why would they bother? Maybe they need to know so they can prepare. Prepare for what? I get the impression that the incident at the market has been carefully planned out for a while now. I don't think those two merchants being given permits for the same spot was a coincidence either. It was probably done to get them to start fighting so they could be robbed while there was tension between them. Basically, to create a situation that couldn't be brought under control without the armor's help. So the two merchants were being used all along. That seems to fit perfectly with what happened this morning. Meanwhile, the provincial army has shown no interest in actively working toward a solution. Unless the market manager chooses to withdraw his petition. So they waited for things to get out of hand, then showed up to force both parties into an uncomfortable truce. Eventually, the merchants would get worn down enough that they'd feel like they'd have no choice but to withdraw the petition. This is turning out to be an even shadier situation than I thought. Yeah, but thanks to Elliot, I do believe we finally uncovered the truth of the matter. That was indeed some very quick thinking you displayed, Elliot. You'd make a fine military strategist. <laughs> I just got lucky, that's all. So, what we know now is the Provincial Army is somehow involved with the actual perpetrators of this crime. The only way to solve it, once and for all though, seems to be, well, to find them and catch them. But if this was carried out by members of the Provincial Army, that's not going to be an easy task. No, I don't think anyone from the Army was directly involved. The soldiers here are far too proud to dirty their hands with such escapades. I tend to agree, really. Whoever the culprits are, I doubt they're still here in Keldig. There aren't many viable places to hide such a huge volume of goods without them being found. Yeah, that's a good point. Maybe they escaped by train? No, that can't be. Boarding a train with that much merchandise would raise a suspicion for sure. It's been less than a day since the burglary happened, so they can't have gotten far. Maybe we should ask around the main road to see if anyone saw anything out of the ordinary. Someone suspicious may have been spotted leaving or even entering the town. That sounds like a wise course of action. Come, let's resume our shirt. We mustn't let this cowardly thief run free. Agreed. I wouldn't dream of it. Finally. Monster killing, slaying stuff. Maybe. Just let me go to the highway. Meow. <sighs> Lulu, are you okay? Look what that nasty man did to her. Um, is something the matter? I was just chasing after Lulu near the west exit of town, and there was this weird man asleep along the side of the street. A weird man? Hmm, to sleep in the midst of a bustling town like this, oblivious to the dangers he suggests he must possess for he must possess formidable skill. Or he was just really drunk. The nasty smell coming off him nearly made Lulu faint. That's terrible. It really was. I don't know who he is, but I'll have to keep an eye on Lulu to make sure she keeps her distance from him. Hmm. So he's not from this town then? I'm not sure. I only started seeing him around a few days ago. I'd never seen him before that. Really now, sounds like a lead if I've ever heard one. If he's drinking in the middle of the day and isn't Instructor Sarah, then we know he's not a merchant, at the very least. Yeah, I think we should go talk to him. Let's have a look near the west exit and see if we can track him down. This is the east exit. I need to go to the west. So let's go to the west. <laughs> drink! Bring me another drink! Phew, this guy reeks. How much has he put down? It's only midday and he's already completely blitzed. I don't think this is the man we're looking for. I think he'd have trouble pulling off a robbery. Uh, sir, are you alright? We can help you back home if you'd like. Oh, shut up! Leave me alone! I just go for nothing with your lot of job. Looking after that nature park with my whole life. Nature park? You cuss ain't her. Very nature park is the northwest area. Used to be the park ranger and go down. Yeah. 
And then you lost your job? Yeah, out of nowhere, too. I gave him my life that job, and I did, and then he just came and took it all from me. That damn official just showed out of nowhere and told me I was sad. You can't just take a man's livelihood off him like that. It's not fair. Job in my whole life, man. Yes, we can see that. Something about this doesn't sound right. I agree. It hardly seems fair to take a man's job away from him without good reason. Right? I'm sure glad someone... Yeah, I feel. There's no way a bunch of kids are like, gonna do better than me. Kids? I was drinking here last night too. A bunch of kids ranging for him and walking out of town in wet direction. Where thing was, I was carrying a bunch of box too in the middle of the night. Kids these days, hell yeah, man. You don't think they could have been the nature park? I wouldn't have even considered it. But a park would no doubt provide a large enough area. It fits perfectly. Yeah, they'd have no trouble stashing the merchandise there undetected. Lock the entrance, leave a couple of lookouts, and no one suspect a thing from the very, for a very long time. And if a provincial author... And if a provincial official was the one to tell him he was fired, that's practically a smoking gun. Oh, I say something, you know something? Don't know what I say. Hell yeah, why not buy me a drink? I would suggest you start trying to sober yourself up instead. There's a good chance you may be able to recover both your park and your job. What? We know our next stop. As soon as we're fully prepared, let's head out to the Lunaria Nature Park. Right. This is what we could do. But we finally, finally, can go kill the monsters. Uh, where is he at? We should take a right here to reach the nature park. Oh, be quiet, Enemies ahead! That there's a big boy. This looks tough. Careful. Go. Zordar. There. Oh, it's good. my I turn. Back. I pushed back very much. Why can I blind him? Let's go. <laughs> Ring about to be one Keep it up, everyone. Over there. Get him, Laura. In the whoop wop. That's the whoop wop. Keep it up, everyone. My turn. There. It's my turn. Ooh, he takes massive fire and earth damage. Hello. Arcus, Here we go. Uh. And I got a burn on him. Sweet. Ooh, a little damage. Chance. I've got you. I 
can do this. Arcus, activate. Right. And normal water damage. Give it up, everyone. Finish him. Monster toast. That's that. Let's keep moving. All right, back to town. All right, now we got a lost wallet to return. During the station, they asked about whether or not there had been any inquiries in regards to lost property. Yes, there was an inquiry. The wallet seems to match the description we received, too. Can I ask what the when the inquiry was made? I believe it was this morning. A young lady came along in a panic, claiming that she was at a complete loss without her wallet and its contents. From what I could tell, she seems to have been traveling alone, too. I get why she would be in a panic, then. Did she say anything else that could lead us to her? She mentioned something about returning to the inn to do a thorough check, if I recall correctly. It's the weathercock right down the street. You can't miss it. How convenient. We happen to be staying there ourselves. Okay, let's go ask Margaret. Hey there, something the matter? Do you have a moment? There's something we'd like to ask you. Reen explained the situation to Margaret and asked if anyone had come along looking for the wallet. Oh, you're looking for Annabelle. Bad timing though, she just left. That's unfortunate. But we have a name now, at least. That makes life a lot easier. True, all the stuff now is to actually meet with her. She mentioned that she'd be searching the rest area in the Grand Market next, so you'll want to head there. Make sure you return to her, okay? We will. Let's go. Excuse me. Annabelle! Excuse me, you wouldn't happen to know a young if a young lady came in here searching for her wallet, would you? She was indeed here a few moments ago, but she's gone now. Do you know where she went then? Unfortunately not. She did mention something about having no choice but to rely on Adios now, though. Does that help you out at all? I think there's only one place that could be. Should we make our way to the church? That seems like our best bet for now. To the church. May the power of God bring her her wallet. Oh, Adios, please have mercy on my poor soul. I simply cannot believe this. How am I supposed to live on having lost all my mirror in a place like this? Looks like we found her. The tragic heroine act made it kind of obvious. Unfortunately, we'll have to interrupt her. Excuse me. Hey! Just who are all of you? Well, you can turn right around if you're planning to rob me. I no longer have any... Please, calm down. We just want to ask you something. Are we correct in assuming that you are Annabelle? I, I am. I <laughs> thought so. You wouldn't happen to recognize this wallet, would you? They showed Annabelle the wallet. That's my wallet. Where did you find it? Well, you see, they returned the lost wallet to Annabelle and explained the situation to her. Oh, thank you so much. I'm surprised to hear that a merchant from the Grand Market kept it safe for me, however. Kindness remains within people's hearts after all, it would seem. Uh, looks that way, yeah. <laughs> Regardless, I'm very grateful that you found it for me. Is there any particular amount that you'd like in return? You can take half of what's currently in here if you'd like. I don't think we can accept that. Your thanks alone are enough. I see. Well, how about this then? I purchased this. At a, I purchased it as a souvenir at the Grand Market before the Great Wallet Search began. I see no reason you can't accept that. In fact, I insist. I hope you find it useful. <laughs> Thank you. We gratefully accept then. You're very welcome. Thank you again for finding my wallet. So you managed to find the owner after all then. Thank goodness. I really can't thank you enough. I'm glad we could be of help. Please excuse us then. Alright. Now we gotta go to the market manager's house and say, hey, we killed the manster. Oh, I see you've taken care of that monster. 
I really can't thank you enough. I'll have to let those who use the highway regularly know right away. Of course, first comes your reward for a job well done. Here, take this. Fancy. I feel kind of bad receiving this much. There's no need to. You definitely earned it. Apologies for having all the work to you. Leaving all the work to you, but good luck with the, reinvest with the investigation, too. Um, I think I'm strong enough. But I shouldn't need to do anything else. Alright, we're at the nature park. Narian Nature Park, huh? It seems less like a park and more like a forest. Yeah, it really does feel a little out of place sitting smack dab in the middle of farmland as far as the eye can see. It may have had some religious significance in ages past. Perhaps it was a place where the animists of ancient times chose to enshrine the spirits of the forest. There's a place much like that in my hometown. Yeah, there's one in mine, too. <sighs> that park ranger made it sound like there would be people here. If they really are the culprits, maybe they've run away already? Hmm. This woodland is too dense to reliably enter it whether anyone awaits within. Yeah. Hmm, what's this? It's a bracelet. Hmm. How did a bracelet come to be in a place such as this? Just as I just as I thought. This bracelet has the same design on it as the ones that the merchant from the capital was planning on selling. Really? You're sure? Positive. There's not a doubt in my mind that it was designed by the same person. Care to give a second opinion on that, Laura? I'm hardly qualified to weigh in on recent trends, but there do seem to be a number of similarities between this bracelet and the merchant's goods. So the fact that it's here means... Yeah. It's extremely likely the culprits we're looking for are inside this park. Sure seems that way to me. Mm -hmm. Hmm. It only opens from the inside. I suppose that leaves us little choice. Are you going to destroy it? Will you be able to? The lock seems quite solid, but my sword should be strong enough to. Wait. I'll do it. I can get it done more quietly. Oh? Really? What are you going to do? The Eight Leaves, One Blade School's fourth form, Autumn Leaf Cutter. Hmm? Hmm? Huh? Seriously? Seriously? Wow! You cut it right in two! I did. Thankfully. Thankfully, he says. Spectacular. It's an honor bearing witness to one of the skills of the Eight Leaves School. Thanks, but I'm still more or less a beginner. Green, you're the greatest. Act like it. You got power. Anyway, we don't have much time left. Let's head inside and see if we can find them. Right. We need to find them before the sun starts to set. Looks like we can still make it after all. Excellent. Come then. We must make haste. And the haste will be made next time. That's a good place to stop the video.